Hi, my name is Ben. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to save your Photoshop files for printing, um, be it at Blue Bee Printing or any other uh, print people that you decide to choose from. Um, basically, uh, one of the main thing is, uh, 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 well, basically we really have two main things uh, out of saving files for Photoshop. One, you want to make sure that your resolution's uh, good enough for printing. So a lot of times, as uh, uh, when people copy images for J, you know, from the web and things like that, the image size is probably the resolution on here is probably not good enough, and we really need about probably a good to be safe. You should be around 300 dpi to the size that you need. So for instance, this is an eight by five image. Um, I really don't need it this big, so I'm going to resize this down and uh, uh, just pretend this was like a business card size. So we'll say uh, 3.75 by 2.3. So I'm going to hit OK and resize this. As you can see, it changes the file size drastically from 14 megs to 3 megs, a little bit under 3 megs. And that's a, quite a bit of savings in uh, uploading files and things like that, data transfer, whatever you're doing. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. So um, main thing is uh, we're going to go ahead and go and do that. And it's going to look like it's going to reduce down, but in reality, it's just matching proportion to the resolution of your uh, size. So we could really blow this back up, and pretty much we're getting the same thing over again. So what's happening now is now we should have a size, file size to what I need, a 3, three by 2 at 300 dpi. Uh, a three, little bit less than three meg file. So one of the most important things is I'm gonna have a layer file with some type in it. Is that we really want to save the file at 300 dpi resolution to the size you need it. Um, so that's one of the things. And the other thing is um, when we uh, when you're typesetting type is when you're typesetting things, uh, let's just say, I forgot the www word. So let's just go ahead and edit this in here. Let's just say I forgot the www.movieprinting.com. So I'll move that over. But as you see, this is all editable in Photoshop. So this is basically a more like a vector type that we're, what we call in the industry. So we could be able to edit it, edit and do things with it and so on. So this is the next step. A lot of people uh, typeset in Photoshop, and what happens is they save the file as a JPEG. We can take a JPEG file. We have no problem taking a JPEG file. But if you have type like this, where you're typesetting, it's preferably better to save the file as a PDF. And the reason why we say that is uh, uh, it keeps the type cleaner. It, it actually retains the vector data of the type as uh, if you did it as a JPEG, it actually rasterized the type. And I'm gonna uh, show you a demo of that, but I'm just gonna put that as my next thing that we need to do uh, to save your Photoshop as PDF when using type. Do not save as JPEG or .tiff or EPS, any of those things. Uh, PDF is probably the easiest way and so on. Um, let's just go back again. Um, save as. So when you save as a PDF, uh, I'm going to put a one. I don't want to replace what I have. So I'm going to, we pretty much do not, no compressions, do not down sample, output, no conversion. And, and that's pretty much it. These are pretty much all your choices in here. So we just don't want no compression and no conversion. And then you can hit save PDF. So these are the two things that we would like you to do when uploading a file to us or any printer probably, uh, most likely. Uh, make sure when you start off the when creating your design, make sure you're at a 300 DPI resolution to size you need it. And then when you're ready and you have in your designing type or designing some, you know, adding type, or whatever, save your file as a Photoshop PDF.
uh, this will make your art look a lot cleaner and sharper and won't um, what we call rasterize the type. Uh, I'm going to show you a sample of what I mean by that. I'm going to open uh, 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 two samples here. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, I zoomed in at 3200%, but this is saved as a JPEG image. And as you can see, you see the rasterized image on the type and see how it's kind of blurry and soft. Yes, I am zooming at 3200%, but you know, here I am also with the vector type saving a PS, a Photoshop file saved as a PDF. I'm also saved in, zoomed in at 3200%. As you can see side by side, this is day and night at 3200%. But once again, you might not be zooming in at, you know, when people look at your art, it's not 3200%. But it does make that type just a little bit more crispier and get your message out to whoever you're printing your stickers, magnets, whatever printing product you're be printing with. Uh, uh, but it just gives you that extra pizzazz and to make everything look, look just a little bit better. Um, other than that, um, so there's your two samples, uh, one with the JPEG over here and one with the vector type uh, PSD uh, PDF. So those are your two samples. Um, I will go back to the Photoshop file just so you uh, a brief reminder what you guys need to do when uh, uploading a Photoshop file. You want to make sure you save as a 300 DPI and working with type or anything, uh, just save as a PDF. Don't send, you know, try not to save as a JPEG or .tiff to us because what's going to happen is you're going to get this soft, jagged edges while if you save as a PDF, you get this nice clean edge. Um, thanks for listening. This is uh, Ben at Bluebee Printing.